for my money. There is nobody, no one that run me. So give me a run for my money. Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely. Living lovely. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Again, today we're going to be doing another, I guess you could say tutorial in a sense. Basically, um, this is my friend here and as you can see, she has 4C hair, very thick. She has a lot of hair, so honestly, this gave me a run for my money. If you aren't new to my channel, you know that this isn't anything that I'm used to, but I am very grateful for her for allowing me to kind of you know basically learn about you know a new texture of hair and everything like that so um as you read from the title i am going to be doing some single or havana or rope twist whatever you want to call it but you guys know i'm kind of i would say easy when it comes to my tutorials i try to do very very simple things things that you can do to help you get through the week or however long you need to get through <laughs> right now i'm pretty much just showing you guys what exactly i'm doing i am going to get a bit closer up on her and the way i did this hair but if you guys need to see then just of course mute me and you won't hear my voice while doing this i did try out three different methods um i tried out a crochet method i tried out the rubber band where you can see the rubber band method and i tried out this method here but as i mentioned before she does have very thick 4c hair so when i tried out the uh, when i tried out the method here you could see that um that her hair like loosened up it, it looked natural you'll see later on in the video but it did loosen up and we did not want it to loosen up or anything like that she was okay with the rubber bands being seen so therefore that's the route i went Also, another thing, as you can see, I am twisting these twists very, very tight. I am using beeswax to mold her hair and the Marley hair together. But um, you will see that the twist does loosen up once I release the pressure. I just don't want it to be too chunky. So I, tw uh, I tied it twist and what? I tied it tight. So when I release and the pressure and everything, it will be the size that I want it. as you can see so here we are getting a closer look as i mentioned before this twist looked so much more natural but i'm going to show you guys how i mainly did the majority of her hair i did some trapezoids in her hair some triangles y'all it's pretty much like a puzzle but it came out really really cute and i really really like the way that i did it so um i think that's pretty much going to be m me talking for the rest of this video you guys just enjoy and if you have any comments or questions or anything just let me know down below oh another thing really fast i did comb out the end of this molly hair because um when the ends were in that little weird kind of pattern that you'll see right here. I hope I show it. Yeah, right there. It made the end of the braids or the twist look very, very weird. So, I just combed it out. So, if I were you, I would comb it out. But, um, yeah, just keep on watching.
I love you. I've been using the game, you've been a pretty good 